Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. And the latest Google Apps updates roundup number 64. And in today's episode, I'm going to share with you more than 20 new features and the changes in Google Apps. So let's find out what's new. The first thing we're going to talk about in today's video is nearby share. And the first new change is the Google Files integration. As you see here, I have a banner at the top after activating the feature from the quick settings saying send. Tapping on it will take you right away to Google Files to choose the things you want to send and that will make it a little bit easier for you. And the second change in nearby share is the material you support. So here I'm going to choose one of the files to send to the other phone. And if you take a look here, you will see there are some material you shapes while the transfer process is taking place. And this is how the progress bar looks now after the new design. So it looks a little bit modern and nicer than before. The next app we have is YouTube and you will see a lot of visual tweaks. On the left here, you will see the old versions to be able to compare the differences in design. And when you expand the description, you will see here the tags are using apple shaped design instead of text only. And the channel name is no longer written here in this area. And when you scroll down a bit for the chapters, as you see, they have a slightly more compact design. And when you tap on view all, you will see more rounded corners in the thumbnails. One more change in the description. If it includes a playlist link, like in my case here, you will see the YouTube logo next to the playlist name. Tapping on it will take you to the playlist page. I also spotted a new feature in the YouTube app search. When you tap on the search bar without typing anything, you might see some notifications here to let you know that the channels you recently watched uploaded some new videos, which is a nice touch. Next, keep notes. And it got a new widget called single note that will allow you to pin a specific note to your home screen. So I'm going to add the widget first. It will ask me which Google account and then it will ask me for the note I want to pin. You can make it as big as the entire screen like this or you can make it as small as this size. And from here, you can actually interact with any checkboxes you have in your note. So if you have a checklist that you want to follow along with without the need to open keep notes, that will make it much easier for you. And this button will take you to the same note inside the Keep Notes app. So if you want to add any items, you can do it from here. If you have a solid background color set, it will match this on your home screen. But if you have a wallpaper, it will not show you the wallpaper in the widget. And if you don't have any of them, it will match your material you theming. Next, Google Play Games Beta on the PC. This feature was only available at first for 13 countries as shown now on the screen, but I found myself today eligible for this feature while downloading Asphalt 9 on my phone. It says here, also play this game on PC with Google Play Games Beta. And I have here a Get Invite button. Tapping on it will allow you to send the invitation via email to your Google account or also send it via Google Chrome if you are signed in with the same Google account on your PC. And once I downloaded the Google Play beta on my PC, it gave me access to all the games we have on Google Play Store so you can enjoy them on a bigger screen. So now let me give you a quick look at the installation process. First, you need to click the link you received in the invitation or in Google Chrome. Then you need to download and install the exe file. Follow the on-screen instructions and sign in with your Google account. Then you choose your gaming profile and agree to the terms and conditions. Once done, you will get Google Play Games Beta on your PC. You might see an orange install button and that means there is a feature called Windows Hypervisor Platform is not activated. And when you follow the on-screen instructions, Google Play Games will automatically activate it for you and then it will ask you to restart the PC. Once the restart is done, the install button will turn into green, which will allow you to uninstall whatever game you want from Google Play Store and enjoy playing them on a bigger screen. Next, Google Photos. And the first change is in memories. Now it shows the name of the graphic designer who created this design for you in Google Photos memories. The second change is the availability of Magic Eraser and the HDR tool for videos for all pixel models for free and also on all other Android phones and iPhones if you are a Google One subscriber. Anyways, I created a separate video talking about those two features and how to get them on any smartphone that you can see its link now on the screen. Next, Google Messages. And the first change is the redesigned red receipts. I already talked about this feature before, but Google started to roll out the new design to everyone. And what's going to happen now, when you send the message, you will first see a stopwatch icon means it's sending. One outline to check means it's sent. 
to outline the checks means it's delivered and finally you will get a fill color once the message is seen the second change you will no longer see the word selected next to the counter when you multi-select conversations and that makes it look better and lastly when you start a new message you will see the create group button now has a pill shaped design and instead of text only like before next google app and i'm going to only show you one feature which is already available for some time but i only got it recently on my phones which is the three bars here at the top that will show you live updates from the sports you follow the stocks and finally the weather and when you scroll all the way to the left you will get this edit button that will allow you to turn on or off any of the three options next google search and i'm going to show you a couple of new neat features when you search for videos in google.com and then expand the video using this button at the top right corner like this you will see here an option called search in video this option will give you a search bar to put your search query and then hit search and then it will show you all the time stamps that include this word or any matching words as well and this is actually the video transcript as you see here and i have the time stamp and when i tap on any of the options it will jump right away to this part of the video and i think this is a very neat feature and i hope google will also include it in the youtube app the second feature is a new section called refine this search and it will show you here some suggestions to get better results for your search query in my case here i typed remove device from but i didn't specify from what exactly and here it says from apple id from find my device icloud and so on and so forth so that will make it easier for you to refine your search and get better results next google tasks and it finally got material you support so you will see the same design language we got familiar with the same buttons the same date and time picker and everything now matches your device theme and also the google tasks widget got slightly different design to also match material you so let me show you how it looks really quick this is actually the new design for the widget now so that's pretty much it for today those are all the new features i wanted to show you and please let me know in the comments if you spotted any new feature in google apps that i didn't mention before to include in my future episodes but for now thank you so much for watching and see you the next video